Monitoring wells are a relatively straightforward and inexpensive way to collect continuous level data from a bioretention or infiltration practice. They can provide a variety of information, including infiltration rates, depth of water, occurrence and depth of ponding, and the drawdown time after a precipitation event. This information can help you validate some of the key performance requirements of your low impact development feature, such as if it's not infiltrating by the expected length of time, how frequently it has surface ponding and for what duration, and if the water isn't moving through the practice as you'd expected. Depending on the information of interest, there are generally three types of wells, shallow wells, deep wells, and groundwater wells. This instructional video will outline the installation and use of shallow and deep wells. Shallow wells should primarily be used to gauge the occurrence of surface ponding and overflows within a bioretention practice. These wells are perforated above the ground surface and should be solid in the below ground portion. They can easily be constructed on your own after purchasing the appropriate supplies, which include a solid pipe cap, a length of ABS pipe, a pipe joint, a length of perforated pipe, the appropriate cement or glue, and a monitoring well grade cap. The majority of these materials can be purchased from your local hardware store. The depth of the well below the ground, that's the solid section, does not need to be very deep and can be determined based on the length of the level logger you plan to install within the pipe. The above ground perforated section should be tall enough to provide the maximum ponding level of your practice before backwatering or overflowing into the grates takes place. This elevation can be determined by using a simple string level or using survey information. Once you have determined your shallow well sizing requirements and cut the materials to size, glue the segments together and allow to dry. Test your well to ensure that it's able to hold water within the bottom section and doesn't leak. Having a depth of water in your well at all times is important for calibration of your level logger equipment. Now select the location for installation. You may want to select a location close to the overflow grate or the inlet of interest. Then it will be easier to tie your elevations together without the use of surveying equipment. Dig out a shallow section of the bioretention media, taking care not to mix the media and the mulch materials. Install your well to the required depth with the solid section below ground and level it appropriately. Replace media around the well to ensure that it remains in place. Complete and record all of your measurements, including the depth of the well from the top riser and the depth of the top riser to the ground surface. Make sure you mark a location from which you have done all of these measurements and ensure that you complete subsequent measurements from this same location whenever measuring your water levels. Measure the string to tie off your level logger and cut it accordingly. Tie it to the well cap. Complete any additional measurements from the top riser of your well to any inlet points or overflows of interest so that you can tie your water data to these features and determine when the water is overflowing or backwatering outside of the feature. It's best to avoid the installation of a solid metal casing for these types of wells as they can prevent the movement of water into the perforated sections above ground and affect the data collected. Finally, don't forget to take photographs and document your installation for future reference. Deep wells can be used in conjunction with shallow wells or on their own. They are a simple way to determine how the water is infiltrating through all the layers of the practice. They're best installed whilst the practice is still being constructed so that you can get them down to the bottom of the feature without having to dig through multiple layers of media, gravel and filter fabric. It's not impossible to install after construction, but it may be more challenging and may require verification of the feature warranty terms and you may need special permissions. The well is simply a fully perforated pipe, either purchased from an environmental monitoring supply store or it can be made in a lab by drilling holes through an ABS pipe and screening with filter fabric. To install, simply cut the pipe length to size according to the depth of your practice. Ideally, you will want this pipe to reach the bottom of the practice and just below the depth of the underdrain so that you can verify when water has reached the bottom of the practice and is then draining through the underdrain. 
Install a cap to the bottom of your well by threading it on tightly. Select the location for installation and dig out any materials as required to install the well. Level the well and repack gravel or soil around the bottom of the pipe to hold it in place. If construction is still taking place, make sure that you cap it so that no dirt or material will enter the well and ensure that the construction crew is familiar with its location. Once all the fill materials have been installed in practice, you can then cut down the top of your well to be closer to ground surface and install an outer casing. Complete all of the measurements as you would for the shallow well installation, ensuring that you mark the location for consistent water level measurements. Since these wells are typically installed with the top risers closer to the surface of the media, you may wish to use the casing as your measurement for the water level measurements. Install the logger. Don't forget to measure a reference water level, again by pouring some water into the well if needed, as the bottom cap will hold a depth of water. Complete all of your measurements to tie the well level to the inlets and overflows as required, and be sure to record detailed notes and take some photographs. For any of your well installations, don't wait too long before you go back to complete the first download, just in case there was an issue with the logger programming or the installation. Once you have your first downloaded data, be sure to complete any calculations to set your data to the appropriate reference level of interest. Whatever you choose is fine, as long as it's meaningful to you and it is consistent. Plot your data as soon as possible to verify that you're getting the information you would expect from it. And don't forget to source an appropriate location for your rainfall data as well. We hope that you found this useful. If you wish to find out more, you can visit our website at sustainabletechnologies.ca.